day 30. Let's get started in either child's pose or you can kind of hug your knees from a seated position uh, and warming up the spine will work towards some twists here today. So if child's pose isn't so great, I love this position and you can maybe stack your forearms and rest your forehead against your arms. Um, we're just doing something to exaggerate the breathing in the back body. Otherwise, maybe knees close-ish together. Arms could be outstretched or hands stacked as a pillow under your forehead or even the hands back by your hips. And just take a couple rounds of breath. We're intentionally uh, restricting the breathing in the front body and exaggerating it into the back body. So really feeling your kidney area broad and plump and um, dynamic. It's moving with your breathing, expanding with your inhales. And then start to take some of your biggest breaths yet today. Full, big inhale. And full, complete exhale. Good. Okay. And then reaching your hands out, spread your fingertips out wide, push into the pads of your fingertips, and then we'll rock forward into an all fours position. Hands and shins heavy, round your back to the ceiling and go for um, a spinal flexion or cat position, tucking your tailbone towards the floor. And then uh, coming into the back bend, breastbone reaching forward, tailbone arching to the ceiling, pulling your hands and your shins towards each other. Good. And then again, coming into your rounded spine. And then from here, round your spine as much as you can, tuck your tailbone, and then tuck your toes and hover your knees up off the floor. Um, so just a couple of inches and then see if you can re-round into your back body and stay here or do knee dip. So dipping the right knee down, left hip hikes up towards the ceiling and then switch. Your femurs stay parallel to each other, your thigh bones, and you just go back and forth, this little rocking motion through the hips and a nice warm up around the sacrum. Strong work in the anterior abdominal wall, re-tuck your tailbone, re-widen your shoulder blades, one more round of knee dips. Good. And then your knees release to the floor. <laughs> okay. Optional downward facing dog here. Briefly, just to kind of stretch out the backs of the knees, wiggle your hips side to side. Reach up and back through your long side waist and take a round of breath. Good. Okay. And then coming down, we need a pillow here. So if you had a blanket, fold it in a long, narrow rectangle or a pillow pillow. But something that you can kind of roll your head open. Here, we're gonna roll into a twist, okay? So come in side lie. And um, with a pillow, you want some of it behind you so you can roll open. And then your knees are roughly in line with your hips, hands reaching out in front of you. Push your bottom knee against your top knee. And then slowly peel yourself open, drawing a line across your chest with your top arm to reach open into the twist. Keep squeezing knees together, especially bottom knee into the top knee. And then let's back out of the twist, derotate face to the side, and then do that two or three more times. So keeping Bottom knee into top knee stabilizes the pelvis and just focuses your twisting in your spine, your thoracic spine. And um, I don't know about for you, but for me, this coming in and out 
um, it just gets like a little more accessible each round. And then let's hold the twist for a couple breaths, maybe widen your left shoulder blade wider to the left and then rotating open to the right. Big stretch in your right chest. You can adjust your arm as you need. Uh, the right, your arm could be higher or lower. You could also bend at the elbow to make um, this less intense. And then now we're really able to exaggerate the breathing into the upper lobes, lobes of your, the right side of your chest here, upper lobes of your lung. And um, full complete exhales to soften the front of your rib cage. Good, one more big breath. And then we'll de-rotate and just take a moment back on your side, um, letting the arms kind of reach forward and really breathing into your back rib cage for a round of breath here. So kind of like we did in a child's pose position. Good, okay, and then roll over. And we'll do our second side. So knees still in line with your hips, arms reaching out in front of you, pushing bottom knee to top knee, and then slowly peeling yourself open into the twist. And just seeing how that first one goes and then uh, derotate facing back to the side and do that again two or three more times, slow and steady, just kind of feeling your way into your thoracic uh, rotation here, the rotation in your uh, rib cage portion of your spine. And then maybe the next time you turn open, we'll stay there. Keep pushing bottom knee to top knee. So we've got that adductor strength and stability through the pelvis, and then can focus the rotation in your spine. And um, the low back doesn't twist well, doesn't twist hardly at all. And we really don't want um, to try to make it, <laughs> it's just not designed for that. So here we're just focusing on, on getting the rib cage to twist well. Um, and this can help us just move well throughout the day. And maybe you have a little more, you could widen your right shoulder blade to the right. And that just helps aid uh, a longer spine because of the width of your shoulders potentially. Um, and then noticing a nice, lovely stretch at your left chest, adjusting left arm as you need, and uh, big inhales into the upper lobes, and then exhales to soften the front of your rib cage a bit where you can. Back of your neck long. Good. Okay, and then turning back to your side, take again a breath or two here, just letting the arms reach forward and your back body widen out a bit more. And we're gonna continue this theme of peeling in and out of twisting um, and take it with us here in the practice. Okay, so from your side lying, we'll push and come up and um, we'll come to downward dog again, and then we'll need our blocks. So I'm gonna move my blanket out of the way and then just bring my blocks over. Fingertips spread out wide, reaching up and back through your hips for downward dog. Good. Take a moment to bend one knee and stretch the opposite heel towards the mat and try to curl those toes off the mat. Really go for strength at the front of your shin and a very lovely stretch. Maybe lovely is one way to describe uh, the intensity of your calf stretch, sitting bone lifting high. And then switch, bending the other knee 
and big calf stretch on the other leg, trying to curl your toes up off the floor, engaging the front of your ankle, sitting bone lifting high. Good, and then find balance. Then we'll come to Uttanasana, walking hands and feet together. And then your choice, flat spine or a long spine, big toe rooted, firm, feet parallel to each other. And coming up, as you come up, sweep the arms high. And then hands in front of your heart. Take another in breath. And exhale your hands by your sides. Good. Okay, we'll come to lunges. So I want you to have your two blocks on either side of your feet. And um, yeah, we'll, we'll step back into our lunge. So from the top of your mat, sweep your arms overhead. And then exhale, forward fold. And bring your hands to your blocks or the floor on either side of your feet. And step your right foot to the back of your mat for your lunge. And then just take a moment to reach through the inner thighs to settle the pelvis lower, and then scissor your feet towards each other to stabilize, strengthen from your outer hips. And then um, let's get longer through the spine, okay? So lean your shoulders, just, just kind of lean a little to the left and lengthen the right side of your spine. And then lean a little to the right, lengthening out the left. And then you just, I almost kind of like shimmy, try to stretch out, wiggle my spine out away from my pelvis. Just get as long as possible. And then we want a really stable right hand so that we can kind of peel in and out of the twist and feel like we have the balance, the help with the balance, okay? So right hand strong and stable. And then left hand's just gonna draw a line along your outer left calf and across your chest and peel you open into the twist. And then you'll bend your elbow and really reach actively into the block, into the floor, wide in the back body. And then two or three more times you're peeling in and out of the twist. Keep scissoring feet together, lengthening inner thighs. Um, those kind of opposite actions in the legs can really help stabilize. And then hold your twist and lift up away from the right shoulder. Turn open, inhale, and then exhale, we turn down. Good, okay, from here, uh, take your time to step forward, Uttanasana. And then sweep the arms overhead as you come to stand, inhale. Exhale, chair pose, hips back, knees forward, hands can reach forward or be back by your hips. That's your choice. Knees forward, hips back. Strong heels, big toe firm, and then stand tall, inhale. Exhale, forward fold. Good, hands support you. Blocks are the floor, and then step your left foot back into the lunge. Good, so right foot forward, inner thighs reaching apart from each other, outer hips scissoring together. So I think about my inner right knee reaching forward, my inner left heel reaching back. And then also <laughs> the feet scissoring together. As I pull my feet together, I just feel that stability at the outer hip line. And then maybe lean a little side to side and just feel the sides of your rib cage spreading open. A little extra space. Like you could just wiggle out more length all the way down to your L5. <laughs> giving your discs a little more room before we twist, because twists are a little bit compressive um, in nature. So giving us enough space as possible. And then left hand down, and you'll trace that line along your outer right shin to peel open, and then turn back down. And you're doing, again, two or three more of those. Let me show from this side here, peeling open and turning back down. And just seeing if you can convince more parts of your upper back to participate in the rotation. Good. And then staying in the twist, inner thighs reaching apart, outer hips strong, lifting up away from your left shoulder, turning open. Good. And then turning back down. 
step forward into your forward fold. Arms sweep up overhead. Exhale, Uttanasana. Utkatasana, your chair pose, is the nickname. It translates as fierce, awkward pose. <laughs> Good, and then drive the feet heavy. Inhale. And exhale, bring your hands in front of your heart. Take another in-breath. And then exhale, your hands by your sides. Good, take a moment to just feel your breathing. And we'll still need our blocks. I'm going to bring mine back over to the side so I can stay facing you all. And um, yeah, we'll keep this peeling going. Let's see how it, how it feels here. So inhale, sweep your arms up overhead. Exhale, forward fold. Hands on either side of your feet. And again, we'll step the right foot back. Good. Okay, from here, we're gonna pivot the right heel in and down to the floor. And then, um, yeah, just feel into this. Re-lengthen your inner left knee forward. And then feel a little strength of your outer left hip firming into your body, into the midline. And then take your, um, your left hand as high as you need it. So it could be on the block at any height, or you could even come up onto your elbow. And we're gonna peel open into our side angle pose. So from here, I'm actively reaching my right hand down to the mat and kind of widening my shoulder blades. And then I'm gonna just peel, draw that line across my chest and peel open. And then do that two or three more times. So my hips stay facing a little bit towards the floor and I just see how much can I convince my spine to twist. <laughs> and this won't be, it's very different than lowering down. Classically, we lower down into the pose. So just have that in mind. And for today, we're just trying to reach the arms apart. It's harder to twist open in this way, but I, I also like it. <laughs> it's a good challenge. So left hip firm into the body, chest turning open, inhale. Good, and then exhale to turn down. Step forward, inhale, stand tall. Exhale, Utkatasana. So a little pattern here, hips back, knees forward, deep in the ankle crease. And then inhale, stand tall. Exhale, forward fold. Good. And then hand supports you so you can step your left foot back into your lunge. Here we are. Left heel pivots down to the floor. Outer right hip firms into your body. So as I get my heel down, my hip just swings a little to the right, and then we re-stabilize there. Outer hip into the body. Decide how high you want your right hand for side angle pose. So move your block higher or come up onto your elbow. And then we're actively reaching left hand towards the floor, widen your shoulder blades, and then peel open. Good, and then turn back to face the floor, and again, two or three more times. Just peeling ourselves open. And here in this pose, the hips have this closed angle towards the floor, and then the legs help hold the hips pretty stable like that, so that we can accentuate this twist in the spine, in the thoracic spine. Okay, how many was that? Let's stay open now and reach the arms wide apart from each other. Outer right hip firms into the body, breastbone turning open. Inhale and exhale, coming forward. Match the feet. Inhale, come up and stand. Exhale, Utkatasana. Good. Knees forward, hips back, arms of your choice. And then stand tall. Exhale, forward fold. Okay, one more round of this. So hands support you. We step the right foot back. Good. This time I like my blocks high and we'll come towards a straight left leg. <laughs> and you let your right hip start to roll open a bit, outer left hip firms into the body, but there's still, the right hip point's still looking towards the floor. And then we're gonna peel open in and out of triangle pose. 
So from here, your right hand is reaching into the block or towards the floor, wide shoulder blades, long spine, and then peel open to come into triangle. And then de-rotate, face the floor, and do that two or three more times. And I prefer this way for coming into triangle pose. Otherwise, I try to, you know, do weird things with my hips. <laughs> Um, and pull this back hip open. But here, when I'm lifting, turning open into triangle pose, we'll hold the pose now, it just sort of helps remind me that, oh, th this is, the pelvis is not supposed to be part of the rotational work. Uh, the pelvis is set up facing a little bit towards the floor so that your femurs are deep into the hip joints and the rotation is happening in your rib cage, shoulder blades reaching apart from each other. Good, inhale, and then exhale, turning down, bend your knee, step forward. Inhale, stand tall, exhale, Utkatasana. Good, are we still here? Knees forward, hips back, and then drive the big toe heavy. Inhale, stand tall, exhale, forward fold. Hands support you. So you can step your left foot back, come into your lunge. This is the last round and this is our last side here. Okay, blocks as high as you need to straighten your right leg. Let your left hip roll open a little bit and your outer right hip firm into your body. And then from here, your right hand can reach, excuse me, it's your left, reach into the floor or towards the floor, towards the block, and then peel open and come into your triangle pose. And then last time we'll do that for your two or three cycles, coaxing more and more of your spine. So really reaching to the floor as you look down and peeling open each vertebra of the rib cage of your thoracic spine. And maybe your gaze naturally is following your hand or you could be looking at the floor, whatever feels good to you uh, here today. Good, inhale, exhale, turn down, stepping forward as you're ready. So you bend your right knee, step forward and we'll come sweep the arms up overhead. Exhale, Utkatasana. Maybe you wiggle your feet close together and then take your hands in front of your heart. And this will be up to you, we'll play with a twist. So twisting to the first side, you might nook your elbow in between your knees or just to the outside. And uh, take this as far as you would like. You can use your arms to help you a bit with the twist. Feel a long line, tailbone reaching back, crown of the head reaching forward. So a long line through your sp spine as you twist. Good, and then coming through the center, drive the feet heavy, stand tall, inhale, reach up. Exhale, chair pose, hands in front of your heart, and then twist in the other direction. Either the elbow nooks between the knees or maybe hooks to the outer knee and the arms can help you as much as you'd like in this twist. <laughs> Keep breathing, long spine. Good, and then stand tall, inhale. And exhale, forward fold. Good, okay, let's come one more time to downward dog. Reaching up and back through your hips. And then you can rest seated or maybe child's pose if that's how you started class. And just take a moment here at the end of this little mini sequence to notice how you feel. How does your breathing feel? Can your mind be right here with your body? Your whole being, your spirit, 
observing yourself here just as you are. Thank you so much for practicing with me today and throughout this month. Um, it has been a real joy. Namaste. I hope you can uh, continue to utilize these classes uh, whenever you need them and just pick out from whatever theme you are needing for the day. Uh, when you can't fit in a full length thing, I'm hoping that these can still be motivating that it's still important to move. It still feels great, <laughs> even if it's it's a, a short little practice here. So, um, yeah. Again, thank you. This was so fun. <laughs> <laughs>